Hey there, viewers. We all need between seven to eight hours of sleep each day. If we're not getting that, our bodies can't function. Unfortunately, there are things that get in the way of this. Things like debilitating back pain. In today's video, we'll discuss seven tips for sleeping with back pain. Should you use a soft mattress or a hard one? What position should I sleep in? What kind of pillow do I use? We're talking all that and more. Number one, use a pillow. Are you suffering from those annoying back aches when you lay down at night? This could be from disc problems, nerve irritation, or muscle strain. Your spine has three natural curves when it's healthy. Any disruption in their alignment can cause severe pain. If you're a back sleeper, consider wearing a pillow under your knees. This is to push your hip bones forward. Now your spine will not be able to curve backwards or overextend. As soon as you elevate your knees and provide support to your lower back, all those tense muscles will relax almost instantly. For all you side sleepers, you want to put a pillow in between your knees. This trick is so effective, you wish you came up with it. Patients suffering from lower back pain due to sciatica experience instant relief. If you're one of those people, this is the perfect way to get shut eye. Sleeping on your stomach should be completely avoided, even when you're healthy. It compresses your stomach, affects digestion, and increases the pressure on your internal organs. If that happens, less blood reaches the organs, resulting in poor organ function. I know it's hard to change long-standing sleep patterns. Here's something you can try. It's actually kind of weird, but just hear us out. Get a shirt with a front pocket and wear it while sleeping. Keep a tennis ball in the pocket every time you try to go to your comfortable stomach position. It will hurt and slowly break the habit for good. Using soft pillows doesn't help. Go for a harder pillow instead. If you don't have a harder pillow, here's something else you can do. Simply roll a towel up and place it inside the pillowcase where the base of your neck would ideally rest. Giving enough support to the neck will align the spine properly and ease the pain. The technology of bedding accessories has advanced to a level where you can customize the fluff of your pillow all on your own. Always choose a pillow with a good quality memory foam. People sleep comfortably in the weirdest positions. How do you sleep? Sound off in the comments below and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, mattresses matter. People often forget that they need to care for their mattress. Once they buy, they pay no mind. Mattresses generally have a shelf life of six to eight years. According to research, people see major improvements in lower back pain just by switching to new sleeping accessories. If you've been using one for over a decade, it's time to get a new mattress. Using a mattress that is too soft or too hard might be the real reason for your back pain. Before you spend a fortune on your new mattress though, just try using a foam gel topper. This is especially beneficial for side sleepers as it helps the back to sink only a little into the mattress. The foam is so squishy, your hip can easily settle into your bed. Try out a few options before finalizing your pick. Soft mattresses are helpful for those with wider hips. Harder mattresses should be picked for people with hips and waists of equal sizes. Generally, chiropractors and other physiotherapists recommend hard mattresses. If you think that would suit you, try putting a sheet of plywood between your mattress and box spring and see how you feel. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Number three, experiment with sleeping positions. When it comes to back pain, there is no perfect position that suits everyone. Certain positions might be pain relievers for some, while the same can trigger more pain in others. You need to experiment, unless you wanna be tossing and turning the whole night. There are some obvious sleeping positions that doctors suggest. For example, if you have pain while standing, sleeping on your back will also be painful. Do not even think of lying flat on that bed. If you've been experiencing pain while sitting, the curled up position on one side is not for you. In that case, you might wanna sleep on your back. Research of senior citizens showed that change in sleeping positions relieved back aches. Changing your favorite position might not be appealing. You may even subconsciously slump back into that unhealthy position. You have to make a conscious effort, do whatever it takes, adjust the number of pillows, use pillows for your body, or just prop them between your knees. As long as we're on the topic of knees, here are five ways to strengthen your knees, cartilage, and ligaments. Now back to our discussion on tips for sleeping with back pain. Number four, meditation. You might think of meditation as an offbeat remedy for relieving pain, but trust us, it works like a charm. Relying on painkillers can be harmful for your body in the long run. That's why you need to turn to something natural and relaxing to cope with that pain. You might find it very hard to concentrate while in pain. Guided meditation apps can come in handy. You can easily follow through with the instructions. It's simple and doesn't require fancy setups. You can even try it in the comfort of your own bedroom. 
Lay down on your bed and let your thoughts flow. It's the perfect way to take your mind off the pain. Meditation acts as a brief relaxation. You can even doze off. At one point, you'd no longer require guided sessions and would be in a position to meditate on your own. Findings from a recent study showed that a mindful meditation significantly reduces pain. Number five, distress. People who are really desperate to find a cure can also try this option. The treatment of pain can be real financial if you go the traditional way. Billions of people worldwide just suffer in silence. In many ways, back pain is just a silent epidemic. Meditation is a great way to cut down on your stress. Stress has a direct link with pain. Whatever you do, do not go down the route of alcohol. This will only make things worse. You'll have a terrible backache the next morning. Try to follow a routine and stick to it every night. This doesn't have to be a strict one. It could be a pretty laid back one, but it's important to have it. Too much time on your phone before shutting your eyes can also affect your sleep negatively. Before you hit the bed, try penning your thoughts down in a journal to avoid overthinking. Enjoy a warm shower and a cup of tea. Get in your pajamas and relax. When you stay up, those muscles are active. When you begin to unwind, all the tightness eventually disappears. Number six, stretch. Waking up in the middle of the night from pain can be so scary. Stretching those overworked muscles is especially important if you have a nine to five job. You don't wanna pull a muscle in the middle of work. A few quick stretches can be done once you're in bed. Grab both knees and hold them close to your chest. Rock from side to side until the pain levels decrease. Simple movements can reduce muscle spasms. While you're under the covers, try arching your back. This is done before you lay down. Chances are you might enjoy it without even having to switch positions. There are just so many good stretches for your back, the cat-cow yoga stretch being the most helpful. It will relieve stress from painful areas and improve your flexibility in general. Try using a heating pad or ice packs after stretching. It'll feel so good. Number seven, be active during the day. If you've done everything we've just discussed and you're still in pain, you may need to do something extra throughout the day. Loosen up your back by adding some physical activity to your day. This should last for six to eight weeks. Resting in bed all day would be the worst idea. Get on your feet and stay active. Start out slow by walking around the house, jogging around your neighborhood, or simply doing yoga. Then advance to exercises that build core strength. When the muscles of the abdomen, hips, lower back, and pelvis are strong, your back gets support and the pain is reduced. Working out is the only way to keep your body in perfect shape, and a few targeted exercises work wonders when you're in pain. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more back-related videos, shall we? Watch eight safe and effective exercises for lowering back pain, or 12 exercises to ease sciatica nerve pain. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to strengthen your back. Do you know any other tricks to help you sleep better with back pain? Let us know in the comments below.